The enduring image of a titan condemned to uphold the sky on his mighty shoulders eternally has captivated many. But how well do we truly understand the tale behind this figure? This being is not merely a man, but a titan named Atlas, a pivotal figure in Greek mythology. Contrary to popular belief, it's not the earth he bears, but the celestial dome itself, following a decree from Zeus to hold Uranus, the embodiment of the sky. Atlas, a second-generation titan, was born to the titan Lapetus and Clymene, a daughter of Oceanus. This lineage made him a brother to the notable titans Prometheus, Epimetheus, and Menoetius. Atlas fathered many children, predominantly nymphs, such as the Hesperides, Calypso, and Maya, the latter being Hermes's mother, thus making the fleet-footed messenger his grandson. During the infamous Titanomachy, the cataclysmic war between the Titans and the Olympians, Atlas and Menoetius aligned with their fellow Titans. Prometheus and Epimetheus, in stark contrast, sided with Zeus. Atlas was not just a participant, but a chief instigator in the rebellion against the Olympians, leading to his unique punishment post-war. Zeus, intent on making a lasting example out of him, condemned Atlas to stand at the western edge of the earth, forever separating Uranus and Gaia by shouldering the heavens. This role inadvertently made him integral to both navigation and the measurement of seasons, as he was believed to have turned the heavens on their axis, influencing the movement of stars. In Homer's Odyssey, Atlas is said to hold up the pillars that keep heaven and earth apart. The Atlas Mountains in northwest Africa, spanning Morocco, Algeria, and Tunisia, bear his name stemming from a myth involving Perseus and Medusa. When Perseus encountered Atlas and was denied hospitality, he used Medusa's head to turn Atlas into a vast mountain range. Atlas's narrative intertwines with the legend of Heracles and his twelve labors. Tasked by King Eurystheus to fetch the golden apples from the Garden of the Hesperides, Heracles sought Atlas's aid. In exchange for the apples, Heracles temporarily took on the burden of the heavens. Upon his return, Atlas initially refused to take back his burden, but Heracles tricked him into resuming his eternal duty. Atlas, in Greek mythology, stands as a symbol of endurance and resilience. He embodies the notion that even the most daunting tasks can be borne with strength and stoicism. Yet he also represents the wrath of Zeus, a cautionary tale for those who dared oppose the Olympian order. The ancient Greeks may have regarded Atlas as a vital deity, essential for navigation and marking the seasons. His tale sparks curiosity. Had the Titans triumphed in the war, what role might Atlas have assumed? Would he have been a ruler akin to Zeus or faced challenges from his kin? Share your thoughts in the comments below and please subscribe. This is Mythbrite, bridging the gap between ancient legends and modern interpretations.